This is a Rutke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and welcome to episode 22 of my Mac Pro series. In this episode, I'm just going to address the pink elephant in the room and talk real quickly about whether OS X El Capitan is the last unofficially supported Mac OS operating system that will work on our 32-bit EFI Macs. Back when the Mac OS Sierra beta came out in June, we quickly discovered that all MIROM-based Intel Macs no longer worked with the latest OS. This is because the MIROM-based Intel CPUs do not have SSE 4.1 which has been encoded into Mac OS Sierra as a requirement. So what does this mean for people who have a 32-bit EFI Mac? Right now, the highest we can go is El Capitan. Will this change, though? We're not sure yet. El Capitan took two months to be modified with the new boot.efi file to work on 32-bit EFI Macs. We're only less than a month into Mac OS Sierra, and there is a possibility that it will one day be supported on our Macs, including the 2007 MacBook Pro. And I'm not including the 2007 iMac because that can be upgraded to support Mac OS Sierra also. So, what would have to happen to make Mac OS Sierra supported on our Macs would either be removing the requirement for SSE 4.1 which I know in Windows at least used to be possible in Windows 8 and 8.1 to remove requirements that the operating system needed. In Mac OS, on the other hand, I'm not sure if that can happen. But I do know that in former versions of OS X, people who were running Hackintoshes that were sporting, for instance, a Pentium 4, could still run OS X, even though OS X required SSE 3. What happened was Hackintoshers created an emulator which emulated SSE3 instruction sets, which allowed the operating system to run. That is the other possibility of making our Macs work with Mac OS Sierra. Though emulating can actually slow down the Mac, it may not, and we will see what happens in the next few months. As of right now, Mac OS Sierra will not work on our Macs. So the whole point of this series might be a little bit for naught because the whole point originally before we even knew about Mac OS Sierra was to teach you how to get a cheap Mac with a lot of power that could run the latest Mac OS operating system. Well, when we found out about the SSE 4.1 instruction set requirement, it kind of made this series a lot less important. Though El Capitan is still a great operating system and it will be supported for another two or three years with security updates. So there's no rush to upgrade your Mac Pro to a newer version like the 3.1. But since the official support for Mac OS Sierra dropped the 3.1 Mac Pros, the values of them have dropped significantly. And right now, you can buy a 3.1 2.8 gigahertz 8 core for roughly the same price it cost me to upgrade my Mac Pro. And you get roughly the same performance plus SSE 4.1 to use Mac OS Sierra. So I've been recently considering getting a 3.1, but does that mean this series is over? No, it doesn't. I will still be covering many different things on the Mac Pro, whether I upgrade or not, I will still have this system. And if all else fails and we lose OS support finally completely, it still makes an excellent Windows 10 computer. And how Microsoft talks, Windows 10 will be supported basically forever. They are just going to continually update it. And the way they talk, the system requirements will never change. So in theory, our Macs will always be supported on the most recent of one of the operating systems, and that's Windows 10. And for instance, the Mac Pro is still a major powerhouse in Windows. So it's still a worthwhile investment, 
even if it's just for Windows. It still has a lot of power. So this series will continue and I will still be covering things about this Mac and I'll also give you updates on the development of making Mac OS Sierra work on our Macs and let you guys know if all hope ends up being lost. But right now the hope's very high still and we'll see in a few months what happens. Anyway, well that is the end of this video and thank you for watching. This has been a Rutke Mods video.